Tim and Miss Tammy. We got the Tim and Tammy show for you, bringing it back by popular demand. It's been a while. Thank you. Nice to have you here. My, what a wonderful audience. I'm walking around with a selfie stick. Oh, the drinking days. Look at that. And I said, Tammy, let's do the Tim and Tammy show. They haven't heard from you in a while. Everybody's commenting and asking things. Whoa, hey. thank you, everyone. Please be seated. What a wonderful group of partners here today. Let's talk about the camper. And, and then I got them behind me. But yesterday, I met Pam and Gary. I met... Pam and Gary. Let's walk out of that valley with our Lord. Bob and Jeannie Johnson, sing that. And so we're just rattling off, and the phone wasn't on. <laughs> you would think that he knows how to work his phone. Well, I'm going to walk, walk right, right out of this valley with my hands and praise the Lord. Say, oh, let old Satan get me down. Just trying to save on my back from being a contortionist. Ah, uh, she's just been married not too long. How, how many months have you been married, Carol? Uh, six and a half. Six and a half. So you're still on a honeymoon, right? Yeah. Trying to, you know, make this bed. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Well, that's good. Now, I hope everybody's gotten up and marching around the house <laughs> now and feeling better. I, uh, I've done my laundry. I got some new shoes on from Walmart. <laughs> Welcome to the show. And where are we going? We're going to Helen, George. <laughs> this is like a big, this is like a repeat. <laughs> we, uh, we should have put them in the honeymoon suite. Yes, That's we should have. Maybe done. we had a yeah. transfer. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're going to get her embarrassed. But... <laughs> we're going to see stuff because we have nothing to do because we're sitting around waiting for this RV that he ordered. And it, um, let's see. And then I got them behind me. But yesterday, I met Pam and Gary. I met Pam and Gary. And I picked this book up and started reading it. And I usually read a book in about 30 minutes because I, I scan read. Don't you know they win? The devil wins. Evil wins. Every time you feel depressed and read about a horrific thing that happened in the news. Please en endure that with us. And But this is one I didn't scan read. I couldn't stop reading the details because it is so well written. I spent a lot of time when I was, you know, single. And I still do. But I used to really, really spend a lot of time in this. And this is something very special. The one he liked, it is sold. So they have to wait and bring one from... Lord knows where. Well, I'm going to walk right out of this valley with my hands and praise the Lord. Said, ain't going to let the old saint get me down. Or you want to concentrate on the negativity on the media, what they want to talk about, about these politics and races and people and borders and all that. I have concerns. I'm an American. We're going to unveil behind this drape in just a few minutes the most exciting project probably ever undertaken in the history, I think, of Christianity. Yeah, just tell the people naturally. Just tell them the story, Tammy. You're doing a good job. What do you mean? And you look very pretty today, by the way. Go ahead. They've heard from me plenty. We're excited about it, and we want to share with you what God has given to us. We have two weeks to change our world. Well, what? The story? I like the way you're speaking. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. We're glad you're watching as we begin PTL, the second decade. I'll get you a McDonald's Coke. Stay to stay, to fellowship, to be with Christians. And we've had to stay out on the highway in the hotels and motels. And we wanted to fellowship with God's people. We didn't want to go stay out on the highway. Um, the story is he bought an RV and they don't, you know, have the one he wants. So they are ordering it. And and it's probably going to take a week. And so the Lord gave us a vision. This vision has been a long time coming. I have to cancel my doctor's appointment for the third time. Largest project ever undertaken in the history of this ministry. They have all these shops there and 
all kind of uh, historic stuff. So yeah. we're going to go there. And we need to walk around and get some exercise. A place for people. The new PTL Partner Center. We're excited about it. The fact of moving to Georgia one day, it's not that bad because it's it's going to be as long as the sun is out but it's still cold the what's the forecast because it's a place with 504 rooms for our partners to stay in it's a place where they can have their needs met to shop to eat in the new grand palace cafeteria get your drinks here <laughs> i hate to make you jealous but i just had to show you we're having breakfast this morning this is another Dish served up by Miss Jolene. <laughs> to have more seminar rooms and workshop rooms there in the ballrooms and in the seminar rooms and meeting rooms there in this great project. That's, how beautiful. So I'm looking around for um, the front desk. That's where he will be. And I probably won't even, I'll be looking at my phone. So I'll be able to, uh, there's a barber shop over there. I might hit that up. So right now, Tammy and I would like to present to you one of the most exciting projects, the Fellowship Center, to bring God's people together to fulfill the commissions of God. Folks, we're here for three or four days. Here's a game room. To forsake not the assembling of ourselves together. Today, it's our privilege to unveil the PTL Partner Center. It looks like this is the boulevard right there where it goes out on the street. So uh, check-in's gonna be somewhere. Probably upstairs, I don't even know if I'm on the right floor. This is one of the most special rooms. This is the typical room at the PTL Partner Center. My friend, where's the front desk? Or to check in. All the way to the back. The all the way to the back? Yeah, it's back that way. Thank you, my friend. Right Appreciate it. Specially built and designed for this ministry. You notice there's no TV sitting on a stand out in the room. It's in a beautiful ca uh, cabinet. There's a beautiful desk to study the word of the Lord there. Oh, remember, this isn't Laughlin. This is Vegas, baby. At the Cosmopolitan. Isn't that beautiful? It is pretty. Mm. You could literally get so lost in here. Now you know why, this is just one casino out of how many are in Vegas? Who knows? Now, when the memberships are gone, I can't give any more out because we can only go to the physical amount because we're only going to offer lifetime memberships up to 50% occupancy any one night of our hotel so that we can maintain the hotel and have it taken care of. But they're all so big. You can walk forever. Here's a front desk, here's a... If you want a membership, you need to call in and make your reservation right now, and then you need to put your check in the mail because we're going to give the membership on first come, first serve basis. New members? Oh, that might be a, a gambling thing. He said all the way to the back, so we'll go all the way to the back. And so it's very important. If you want to be a lifetime partner with us, that you call the numbers on your screen right now. I don't know. I said better be careful of electric and all that, but... I'm staying out of that deal. I know nothing about that. Well, I'm gonna walk right out of this house.